Hey, starting with niggas when niggas ain't right. You ain't right, little nigga. I see the fake in you. It's A's I when nobody make the noise. You ain't right, you ain't right. Hey, we the top, we the top. What's up, what's happening? Big K.A., we back in the building. K.A. too good if he sleep with a cutter up a turn. You know the big dog with a tongue. You heard me? Now, we had some beef. I wasn't going to talk about this initially, but hey, it's kind of entertaining, kind of funny. It could be on the second channel, but I'm going to put it here. Hey, but go check out the second channel. Quasimodo, we doing our thing. Like and subscribe. Also, like and subscribe to him. You like the hip hop shit if you want to hear more broader shit and just me talking about some random bullshit from time to time. Let's go over there, you know? See what's popping. See what's chilling. But, anyways, we're here to talk. We're here to talk about Marlon Wings and DJ Vlad. Now, I don't know what's exactly happening. DJ Vlad been doing a little bit of a modness. Basically, you know, the whole Shannon Sharp shit. Shannon Sharp been doing this shit. Shot. Shout, shout out to Unk, big Unk, you heard me? He doing this shit, and Vlad is feeling away. Not like jealousy, but he was like, oh, yo, I'm doing some shit. But basically, he's been throwing shade at a couple niggas. So eventually, for whatever reason, he wanted to interview Marlon Wayans. Marlon Wayans said, oh, you got to pay me 40K, and you got to give me some percentage of the shit. And that's my fee or whatever. And, Mar and Vlad was mad, and he's like, hey, that's my fee. Take it or leave it. I ain't doing something. Now, listen. What's that nigga? Um, the million dollar man in WWE said it best. Everybody has a price. He said it best. He said it best. Now, what's crazy is as you grow up and you realize that that nigga Virgil, not to be confused with Virgil Abloh that worked at Louis Vuitton that passed away. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Virgil. I don't even know if the WWE Virgil died. But anyways, crazy that that nigga owned a slave. <laughs> but, but that's a story for another day. And he owned a slave in WWE not, and in GTA. But with that being said, um, yeah, he was just very irate and upset about it or whatever have you know. Everybody has a price and Vlad again, he might not really fuck with you, but this is his price for the interview. Cause at the end of the day, you might not fuck with him, but yeah, if you could get some money on, you could get some money, of course you're gonna do what you're gonna do. So that's what I thought it was. Again, him showing up on the Breakfast Club or other places, maybe he fuck with them niggas. Like, oh no, I'll just hop on for free and promote some shit. I'll hop on over there for free. And plus, Vlad, like, certain niggas get paid. I'm pretty sure Vlad paid Lil Boosie or Boosie Badass, whatever you call him, for the interview. Boosie Badass be over there a like, lot. You pay that nigga. And if you don't pay that nigga shit, you give that nigga some incentives. That nigga over there every other day. He over there. So come on now. Like, again, and it also depends on the interview. I said this a lot of the time. Don't get me wrong. I did not like the interview Adam 22 did with the guy who murdered Pop Smoke or was involved in the murder of Pop Smoke. Blockstar, I believe, his, is what he's going by. I did not like the fact that he potentially paid for the interview. I did not like the fact that he interviewed him. What did Adam 22 say? Oh, it's like Vlad, you know, you got to interview like serial killers or whatever the fuck. No, you were just trying to be lit. You wanted some shit to talk about and you wanted like a little traffic, some subscribers. That's perfectly cool. Just keep it a buck. But it's different when we had the interview with um No Plug, who was 21 Savage, man. I don't know what happened with that relationship. But um his man's um No Plug, who allegedly took the life or Not allegedly. I think it's proven at this point. I'm going to just say allegedly. Just to cover my ass. Um, took the life of Bankroll Fresh. At least that nigga was an artist and that altercation happened. At least certain times, like with the Troy Ave situation, he was an artist. And that situation happened where his man's passed away or whatever have you. It's not just no random niggas who ain't got no motion and they just caught a body of a prominent um, hip-hop celebrity. And then you interview them. And that was my point in the Adam 22 video that this is just disgusting. You can't reason your way out of it. Just say what it is. It's called the spade a spade. And... In this case, Vlad, you're more of a hip-hop platform. Again, you could interview Marlon Wayans. I'm not saying you can't. Breakfast Club, I could personally consider them a hip-hop platform. But they interview a lot of people. You can interview a lot of people. You're trying to diversify. That's perfectly fine. But, yes, he is not a hip-hop person. So, he doesn't need to get interviewed on your platform, number one. And number two, he doesn't really fuck. He been stated in one of the tweets he thinks you're a culture vulture, so of course he's not really gonna fuck with you. And there is that critique for 
Adam 22 as well, and Vlad. Now, again, it is what it is. Motherfucker, you know how many times motherfuckers have been calling Vlad the feds? This does not surprise me. I get it. It probably gets older for Vlad. But even still, at some point, it is what it is. Like, the whole time, and one of Vlad's responses when he says some shit to Marlon Wayans, I'm just like, bro, this is some Adam 22 shit. Like, you really becoming this nigga, bro. Like, it's crazy as hell. Anyways, let's talk about it a little bit. Anyways, a disagreement over an interview fee has ignited a fury, a, a fury Twitter for you. A, a, a furious Twitter. Yo, I don't know who the fuck be writing these articles. Y'all be using some bullshit. But anyways, between actor Marlon Wayans, actor and comedian. Get that right, Marlon Wayans. And interviewer DJ Vlad. The conflict began when DJ Vlad publicly revealed Marlon Wayans' uh, 40k asking price for an interview on Vlad TV. Wayans defended his rate, accusing Vlad of unprofessional unprofessionalism and attempting to drag him, which he kind of did. <laughs> so this is just a fan talking to Marlon Wayans. This all happened on Twitter, by the way. So again, let me just read this shit. So Rio Yodi one. Shut you up, my nigga. Anyways, uh, Marlon Wayans, you a good one because DJ Vlad would have paid. 500k for an interview with 55% of all revenue made from the video on all platforms. See, I tried to tell him I was giving him a deal. Oh, well. By the way, that is his price. That's the price he's giving you. He might go somewhere else like, oh, I kind of fuck with you. I might give you a discount. Oh, I fuck with you. I see like you coming up, you growing and shit. So, you know, I'm going to do it for the free shit. Like, again, as much as we see a lot of this shit pop up on YouTube, we don't know. There could be deals in the back like, oh, I get a little something, something off this video. Yada. We don't exactly know. We just sitting there consuming this shit. We don't know exactly what the fuck's going on. And if niggas generally fuck with you and they like you, of course they just gonna come sit down with you. He just don't fuck with you. I don't know what Vlad is not understanding. So, Marlon Wayne's found someone with 200 followers to agree with him. LOL, first of all. The nigga's not famous. So who can't? Vlad, anyways. Uh, the, the real Yo D person, he's just a fan. And not to be disrespectful, he's just a person who likes Marlon Williams. But nobody on earth is going to pay Marlon 40k for an interview when he gets 100k to 300k views on any platform he interviews on. This guy is really delusional. And he posts um, views that he gets on different platforms. Of course, uh, there's Jimmy Kimmel, The Breakfast Club, and... Who the fuck is this? Um, the Daily Show. So, nigga, that look like a sketch. Anyways, so uh, Marlon says this: "You mad? You unprofessional, my guy. If you don't like my number, keep it moving. You look bad. You should fall back. Mad at a black man stating his number, and now you go public and use your platform to try and drag me." I never in my life dealt with this silly negotiation, negotiating tactic. Now, I wouldn't put in like, oh, I'm a black dude who can't be doing that, but I, we'll see what happens. The exchange escalated quickly with both parties resorting to personal attacks and accusations. Vlad questioned Wayne's relevancy and suggested he considered a career, he considered a career in um, adult entertainment, um, uh, guy on guy, adult entertainment, while Wayne's asserts his self made success and claims Vlad is hated by the urban community. I wouldn't say hated, but like, yeah, bro. You know what it is? Vlad be asking some questions, bro, like, it's police questions. Like, it is what it is. Like, and niggas are thrown off by that. We like, nigga, why the fuck you trying to jam us up? Why you asking that question? Let's keep it a buck. He be asking that shit. So, of course, some niggas are like, we don't need to go over there. Also, I didn't like Vlad telling the man, like, oh, you should go into male-on-male um, -male adult entertainment. It would be great. Yada, yada. Like, where? how did that just come into the conversation? This is where I was stating in the beginning the beginning of the video, he was on some Adam-22 shit. Because Adam-22 would say some dumb shit like this. At least with Adam-22, we all know that motherfucker would be doing some adult entertainment with him and his wife. And it's not part of the No Jumper brand in a sense, but Adam22 as his own brand himself, having his No Jumper platform, it's kind of intertwined at this point. Yeah, Vlad just saying that shit. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? 
Um, I'm not mad. I find all this amusing because you really think you're worth uh, 40k for an interview. I said there's nobody on earth that will pay you that and I have yet to be proven wrong. Throwing out a stupid ass number for an interview is unprofessional, my guy. Um, I'm worth whatever I say. People don't. People like you don't make or break me, champ. I'm self-made. I go wherever I choose. By the way, you gotta the Wayne's family, bro. You gotta you gotta have respect for them. They they did that shit, bro. You gotta have respect for the Wayne's family in general. But anyways, I go where I choose. I don't like your tactics. I've been a gentleman. I don't express my grievances with other people. You yo, Scott, you're trying to turn other black men in my field on me. Asking them whatever the heated debate continued for days with Wayne's eventually declaring victory, claiming most of his followers didn't even know who DJ Vlad was. Why no Wayne's? I'm sorry you don't find me a track. Oh yeah, he was making fun of how Vlad looks. He was posting no pictures of uh him being bald. I remember the bald hair of Vlad and basically him with hair now. Which I would not be surprised if Vlad went to Turkey or wherever he went to to get like a transplant. But basically that happened and Vlad with a beard or whatever. And it, so this is where the whole um um gay thing came from. Um, Marlon Wayans, I'm sorry that you don't find me attractive. Unfortunately for both of us, uh fortunately for both of us, I'm heterosexual. Between your recent um quote from Vlad, gay photo shoot, and your claim to fame dressing up as a woman, this would be perfect time for you to fully come out and um come out of the closet, coming out as gay, yada yada yada. So see, DJ Vlad, this is the moment you've been begging for. I ask you to leave me alone, let it go, but you want to kick a bee's nest. You can't compete with me, bro. I'm a legend. He kind of is. Um, and occasionally I'll come off the f off the throne to spar with peons like you. Keep going. There's levels to this ish. Basically saying I'm done. People don't know me as DJ Vlad. So people, my followers don't know who DJ Vlad is. As well as talking about, sorry, back to Vlad. Um. Oh, Marlon Gaines would be a great name if you started performing in male on male adult scene. Like, it's just stupid. Like, that just. Gang, listen, you have your platform. You are important in this hip hop sphere, even though certain niggas don't like to give you credit. And some of the hate you get is unjustified. Like, but this shit, bro, like, just shut up, my nigga. Like, you don't really need this for your platform. I'm so confused. You don't need this. But yet, you're here, like, just keep it pushing. The man have a price. And it's probably a little bit higher because he don't fuck with you. But he want the bag. He going to get some money out of you if you really want to interview. It is what it is. Just keep it going. It is what it is, my nigga. You, you just hurt by this too much at the end of the day. Yeah, you could say maybe Marlon was a little bit disrespectful in certain aspects. But you took it overboard. Especially, listen, I don't need to play these these games with you. We all know, listen, being LGBT is fine, but you putting that on certain black people, especially in certain black communities, that's a no-go. You will, They will try to unalive you in GTA. Like, motherfuckers don't play that. Don't put it on a motherfucker that ain't put that on themselves. That's number one. In general, not even being black. Don't put it on a motherfucker that ain't put it on themselves. That's number one. When they're ready to come out, they come out. That's number one. Or number two, I guess, because I said the first point. But besides that, <laughs> Bro, Vlad, you doing too much. Let's go sit down, man. Drink some milk, bro. Just, just... Then go watch Adam 22 and his wife, like, you know what I'm saying? Do their thing on fucking OnlyFans. Maybe that will calm your ass down. I don't know, nigga. Like, you doing a little too much. Besides all that, besides all that, hey, that's really all I got to say. What do y'all think about a little situation? But it's your friendly neighborhood, KA, signing off for today. The black TJ, that while they're doing this thing. Last scrap up here. I'm tired of my intro. I talk too much. But anyways, I'm gone. Shlanzoom, peace, y'all. I.